this is your third collaboration together as a director, producer, screenwriter. What is your secret to uh, coming up with brilliant films? What? <laughs> Quite taken aback. <laughs> um, I think what we try and do is we set ourselves creative challenges um, where we, we take a genre or an idea like we did with Sherlock, say. And then uh, it, it's unfamiliar to us that particular um, the execution of how best it is to uh, realize um, these productions and then you set yourself that challenge and then you go right what do I need to do in order to make mm -hmm. it entertaining if I was a viewer what would I be interested in and we took the same approach with this as well it was you know of a genre and we wanted to challenge ourselves with that genre and hopefully steal the best out of what we see as the golden age of that period and just keep the wheat get rid of the chaff and amalgamate uh, a creative package that will be entertaining for a viewer in a contemporary fashion but using all the benefits of the aesthetic of the 60s oh, i said that, that quite well I'm not, <laughs> not sure if i meant any of it but i got drunk using all those words no, i seldom yeah. use and we you know we we we, we immerse ourselves in every in every world we try and create, we immerse ourselves over a very long period of time. And there's a gradual build up, evolution of ideas uh, as time goes on. Um, yeah. And we're also very, uh, we're also not shy about being rude to each other about each other's ideas. What are the elements in this material that made you want to direct this movie? Um, I suppose it's really harking back to, as I said, this what I see as the golden period of the spy. Um, thriller genre and uh, you, you, we borrowed from all sorts of classics um, it's the humor from some and the uh, the idea of the Cold War from others and the sort of necessary requisites um, that came with the the birth of this genre the birth of technology as well so and it was trying to amalgamate and have uh, one production that really represented what was most entertaining uh, to us um, in this genre and to try and make that manifest. So on a day-to-day -day basis, it was just trying to come up with a new ingredient that would ho hopefully make that cake uh, more tasty to eat. It must be difficult to put together a movie which is um, 1960s cool and at the same time 21st century relevant. Um, well, that's the challenge. That is the challenge, is to somehow make it, but this is the kind of the benefit of being retrospective. You can get rid of the stuff that you didn't like about the 60s and keep the stuff that you did. Um, and simultaneously make it move at the pace that yeah. contemporary films need to move at and make it entertaining for us. I think Guy's style is very modern. And I think uh, applying that to a 60s world or to a period world enables you to make it accessible for a modern audience. How did you um, make sure that you have a fresh take on this film? Well, you don't, you're never really sure if, if you've succeeded in that until um, you see people's reactions. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're entertainers and our job is to entertain people um, as well as ourselves, but, you know, we are still subservient to the viewer. So uh, we won't really know until the, the films come out. Uh, but all we know is that we enjoy it. Uh, it's slightly embarrassing mm. to say that. Do you have any particular scenes or um, sequences in the movie that you, you like in particular? My favorite is Henry eating the sandwich while watching uh, Army uh, being chased in the boat. I think that's very funny. and a very, that, That's a perfect example of a very fresh take on an action sequence. You don't expect to do a boat chase in that way. And I think Guy, Guy had a great idea. How do we, um, we keep, Guy keeps, always asks, how do we make this action sequence fresh? How do, we, how do we do it in a way we haven't seen before? I think the idea he came up with for that was to have it observed through the eyes of Napoleon Solo. Um, I'm probably embarrassed to say, but probably the torture sequence. Um, I like the juxtaposition of uh, the, the, uh, the Nazi and his fascination with creative photography. I just think that's rather entertaining as an idea. Um, and also he was great fun to work with mm -hmm. uh, as an actor. Uh, so. The idea that all this technology was letting him down as well, that he was very keen to sort of torture someone, but the fuses kept going. Um, I just like the, just like that sequence mm -hmm. around there. For me, that's where the film really, I'm very confident from 
that part to the end of the film. And what was the most challenging part for you? The most challenging part is really uh, creating a film that that is entertaining, and competitively entertaining. So that's the, the greatest mm -hmm. challenge. So it really is an amalgam of challenges, um, <coughs> all culminating in whether actually people want to see the movie.